Hello, Lewis here. This is a replacement audio track uh, because the first one was uh, not that good. Um, so I'm getting ready to do a drawing um, and I've got this in quadruple speed so that the whole drawing will fit within 15 minutes and uh, um, I have kind of a, a false start here at the beginning. Um, I didn't go with my design very well. I wanted to move stuff over a little bit and uh, black marker wasn't working so I had to throw that away. Okay, finally getting uh, situated here. Gonna really get started for real. Okay. Basically moved everything over like a, an inch and um, felt like I was accomplishing something there. Okay, don't know if you can tell what this is. I'm not going to tell you right off the bat. Um, it'll be pretty obvious pretty soon. One reason I'm doing a separate audio track is because um, at the high speed, the uh, markers squeak really bad. I mean, they squeak bad anyway, but uh, at high speed, it's like unbearably high pitched. So I wanted to get rid of that, and also, um, whenever I'm drawing, I hum and make noises with my mouth, and um, it, it's kind of embarrassing, and it's even worse at high speed. So um, I decided I was going to not have that in my video that I put on the internet. So you might be uh, starting to figure out what I've been drawing here. Um, I, I basically was looking around the room trying to decide what to draw and I saw something it's like okay I'll, I'll draw that and uh, so I did a little sketch on a piece of paper first so I kind of had an idea of, of what it was going to look like before I started okay let's see what's going on okay yeah, I don't know if you can tell what it is at this moment I uh, don't want to give it away if, if you're a little bit slow. Okay, maybe it's not that obvious. It, it's a screwdriver. Um, uh, this uh, turned out to be a little more challenging than I expected. Um, in the first, the first start that I did on this video, I found out that my black marker is dried up and so I couldn't use black and all I have left is red green and blue so I'm doing everything in red green and blue which um, I mean it's a nice variety of color if, if you only have three then that's that's about as a good a, a three as you could ask for um, but it's doesn't allow for very natural coloring um, Obviously, uh, a screwdriver that's blue and green and a hand that's red is about as close as I could get to a, a normal colored um, stuff. Now, red's the closest thing to my skin color, and it's not really that, that close at all. And uh, I don't have a, a green handled screwdriver, but um, I've seen them before. They do exist. Um, and blue was the closest thing I could do for a metallic um, shaft on, on the screwdriver so um, I, I threw a little bit of green in there just for the reflective purposes um, I should have probably done a little bit of red too but the trouble with red is that it really stands out and it, it's hard to get the right amount of red um, it, basically my hand ends up being just a line drawing because you put very much red on there it, it just looks like my hands dipped in blood, and, and that's that's not the look I was going for. Maybe not, maybe I'll do that kind of a, a drawing at a later date. Okay, hopefully it's starting to look more like a screwdriver now. I, I fixed the the weird perspective problem I was creating there. Um, at this point, you kind of get the gist of the drawing. I. I basically fill it out and make it look a little bit better from here on out. Um, do some shading.
didn't really think out the the what everything was going to look like before I started. Um, I, I did do the little sketch, but it was a very basic line line art sketch, and so I didn't think about um, what's the shadows going to look like. Um, but anyway, it, it didn't turn out too bad. I managed to uh, um, to put them in there, a uh, little bit of shadowing, so that it looks kind of realistic, and just enough extra red on the hand so that it looks slightly realistic without too much red. A lot of wrinkles on that hand. But you do have wrinkles there on that part of your hand if you uh, are uh, doing cartoon gestures. Okay, there's the shadow of the hand on the screwdriver handle. Got to get them shading just right. I think my green was starting to run out at the end there. Okay, there we go. That's about it. I'm running out of time. Thank you. Have a nice day.